Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. April 20th, 2020. I see the light. It's off in the distance, but I see some light and we're going to keep moving towards it. One of the things I wanted to talk about was the Napoleon series of grills which is a grill brand that kind of flies under the radar. They're a direct competitor to Weber, and really they are dwarfed by Weber, which is one of the most iconic brands in America, let alone the world of outdoor uh, cooking. The Napoleon series of grills definitely needs to have some love sent its way. Um, we have three models that we tend to gravitate towards over here, and that's going to be the P500, the Pro 500, and the Pro 665. And the way that these three grills are differentiated is by size between the 500 and the 665, but also when you go from the P500, which is the Prestige, to the Pro models, you start picking up more lights, you pick up different cooking grates, um, amongst other things, a smoker box, a smoker tray in the front, um, most of the business is done on the P500 model because of price point, which right now they took the map price down this year to $12.99. The Pro uh, 500 is probably going to be, I think, around like $18.99. And then the Pro 60, 665, which used to be $32.99, is now going to be in the high twos. Of course, if you call one of us up or visit here, deals will be made for you. But I wanted to call out, in particular, one of the reasons why, probably the main reason why we gravitated towards these grills and why from a design and engineering standpoint, they did something that at this point I am stunned that the high-end grill manufacturers have not caught on to and mimicked. And that is the way that they handle their infrared sear zone. As many of my customers know, through the years, I am not a proponent of having a sear burner, an infrared sear burner, in the main body of your grill. I guess you can make an exception with Lynx because of the Trident burner having the ability to get down to a mellow 200 degrees, but remember the Trident will not go up above 800. So for the nuclear searing that you're going to get from, say, the Alfresco Hellfire burner at 16, 1800 degrees, the Lynx Trident doesn't go up that high. But again, the Trident is definitely something well worth looking into. But with this video, of course, is not about the Lynx Trident Burner. It's about Napoleon and the way that they have played the real estate game. And what I mean by that is that the grill is not encumbered by having an infrared burner in the main body of the grill. Because your infrared burner is limited in its abilities, what it could do. I mean, it essentially gets down to its searing. Unless, of course, you're doing a Lynx, which could do more gentle cooking. But... When you're, like if I have a 42 inch alfresco in my house and a third of that grill, a third of the grill is taken up by the Hellfire burner. So my 42 inch grill essentially has shrunken down to a 29 inch grill for normal cooking because I'm not gonna do things like certain vegetables. I'm not gonna put um, chicken with skin on it, for example, because I would incinerate the outside and I would have a blue interior and we'd all be sick. So. What Napoleon did is that they understand that there is an allure to the infrared burner. So what they did is they took the side shelves or the wings and what they did is they, they on the, on the left sided one, on all three of these models, they built their infrared burner into the wing. So it's an outboard infrared burner. And why, why is this so key? Because now you have that ability to sear, right? and you don't have to take away real estate from the interior of the grill for the normal cooking that you're going to do 90%, 95% of the time. All right, it's ingenious. I don't know why these other companies haven't done it. They've even taken the, the idea of a side burner, like it, for many people is nonsense. All the Weber grills that I sell, okay, I would say eight out of 10 people telling me, well, I am, do you have one without a side burner? I never use the side burner. When I owned my Weber Summit, I never used the side burner. So Napoleon took a piece of land. It's a real estate game, people. They took it and they said, we're going to make a burner here, but we're going to make it functional, make it have you know, really you know, indelible, important use. And I have many, many Napoleon customers who use that sear burner religiously, okay? 
but it doesn't take away again from the interior of the grill the burner itself gets up to 1200 degrees fahrenheit it's hot as blazes no two ways about that all without compromising the internal real estate which is oh so precious particularly if you are grilling for a large family you have a lot of gatherings and i know in the world in the life the age of social distancing we're not really thinking about that but the day where you will be cooking for the neighborhood may come sooner than you think or at least have them over and have them all wear masks but nevertheless i want you to think about the napoleons because for the money they probably provide some of the greatest value in outdoor cooking and lo and behold and i never really use these videos as sale pitches but i do have two napoleons that are display models that i want to push out now so i have a p500 in propane that is normally 12.99 that puppy we're going to let that go at 9.99 right now i also have and it's in fantastic shape never been cooked on just been sitting on display i have a pro 665 was 32.99 i think they've taken the map down to 28.99 folks my price out the door is going to be a heck of a lot lower than that so please call ring of fire curdo's ring of fire you can reach us hit the main line 914-793-5600 or you can email me at jonathan at curdos.com which is on the screen right now and take advantage of these well thought out value driven grills and get even a better value by buying the p500 or the pro 665 off the floor